All right, we're doing a free shaping exercise with hand targeting here today. And this is probably Chase's uh, second or third time doing this. So what is the purpose of this hand targeting? I use hand targeting as a, uh, almost like an artificial lure. So in order to do that though, I have to create value in my hands first and him wanting to follow my hands. So here I'm just free shaping him, bumping his nose to my hand he also has a tendency to want to use his feet, but um, thankfully he's starting to, I'm starting to phase that out a little bit. As you can see in the first couple of sessions I did this with him, he was just like constantly bumping me with his feet. He's getting a little bit better about it now. Um, and as we're going through this, he's starting to, um, you know, do, I'm, I'm asking for more than one bump before I pay him. So I think I get up to three or four somewhere in this video. And then in, towards the end, I'm also, um, I'm also starting to introduce a command. So I'm saying touch right before he's about to do it. Um, that's how I'm introducing a command to it so I can put it on cue. And um, I'm also using the back tie not only to kind of minimize his ability to wander off and go running around and me having to handle a leash, but also it gives a little bit of opposition reflex and making him kind of desire to pull into my hand a little bit. <clears throat> so. You can see he's still trying to use his feet a lot. I'm trying not to pay him when he's using his feet, so we can hopefully eliminate that behavior. Uh, so now we're doing a little bit more. I'm, I'm adding in a little bit of walking. So um, ultimately, he's going. I'm going to use this to teach a focused heel. So I want to kind of start incorporating him just following the hand like that. There we go, we've got three bumps in a walking motion. So that's what I want to be um, reinforcing here. <coughs> As he gets better and better and starts understanding this, I'm also going to start doing um, different hand positioning. So I might have it low, I might have it high, um, I might, you know, show him different pictures in different contexts and generalizing it a little bit. And at the very end, I, off I have him put his chin in my hand, which is something else that we are working on in the unforced forest holds section of training. Um, and the reason I'm doing it here is because I want to teach him. Um, in Napopo, we teach opposing behaviors to create clarity. So because he's already learning the chin and hand, I want to kind of introduce that as like, hey, that's a whole separate thing. What we're doing here is nose to hand. Yep, like that. And then at the very end, you'll see here, I offer him my chin. He's trying to use his feet and I reward him. So hopefully he's going to understand the difference between the two. <clears throat> 